Oh yeah, I like this. I like to look at this. <laughs> first catch, I mean first cast. Look at this pretty boy. Followed it all the way in, he was out deep. Let's get another look. Very pretty fish. Pumpkin seed, I believe, right? Let's get him back. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's kind of like a weird way of beginning my video, but we'll just see how it goes. So um, here at this spot, it's a pretty nice spot and already on a first fish. So I'm not gonna really do too much talking. I just wanna catch some bass. Uh, I've heard that there are some pretty big ones here too. So let's see what we can do. I got this little spinner, actually. This is my first fish on that spinner. I use this little thing and it's basically like a underspin and it's really cool. Definitely gets the fish's attentions. And on the other rod, um, I actually have this Texas rig with a little bullet weight. And um, we're just gonna be slinging around, catch some big old chunkers and uh, hope you enjoy, stay tuned. All right, boys, I don't know if I wanna put this thing down. I mean, you guys probably don't really wanna see me catch some uh, panfish, but I mean, they're just so pretty that I can't help it. And hopefully you guys can hear me, it is kind of windy, but I don't really have one of those wind things, so we'll have to work with what we can do. Let's just give this a couple more casts, see if we can get on some more pretty panfish, and uh, switch over to the big worm, catch some big bass. All right, guys, it's been a minute since I've been able to uh, throw this old DC reel around. Just to sum up, it's a pretty long story, but the rod, the rod I had was a spinning rod, all right? And I had no idea. I, I was like, hold on, why are the, the guides so big? But like, I just thought nothing of it. I didn't know if it was part of the design, whatever. So long story short, I kind of have to return that rod. So right now I'm using my Lou's Carbon Blue GT rod with the Shimano SLX DC. So, I mean, it's not like this rod is like terrible. It's a six, eight, medium, heavy, fast action, I think. So it works perfectly fine with this reel except I just backlash, but I mean, I don't see why it would, it wouldn't work. So I just wanted to try, long story short, I just wanted to try this reel out and uh, hopefully catch some big fish, holy crap. But um, that's my whole spiel. Oh, uh, okay. The biggest fish he was using Oh, yeah. All right, boys, it's about to get interesting as F real quick. It's really about to get interesting. You already know. What? This pond is crazy can't wait to catch something out of it oh big ass bass look at that bass oh that's a pb look at this bass holy crap that's like a five pounder over here holy shit. maybe four but it's huge look at this thing <laughs> nah it's a bass what the frick please eat it oh my god yo i need a top water I might go get, oh my God, there's another one right here. Dude, that was a huge bass. Please eat it, please. Oh, he's looking at it, he's looking at it. Oh, he's, he's looking at it, there we go, he has it. Oh, let's go. That wasn't it, but this is a big fish. Holy crap. Oh my goodness, there was another one like twice the size. Guys, take a look at this. It's a decent bass right here. His jaw is really weird, but probably like a pounder, maybe a little over a pound. Dude, what? There he goes. This pond is the juice. Dude, I would. Any day, all day. Can you hear the bluegill popping over there? Dude. Top water right now would be so killer. No doubt in my mind. This 
pond is so good. I'm convinced. Oh, big ass bass over there. Holy crap. That's like a three pounder. Oh my God, this would, my, this would be my PB of the season right here. Easy PB right here. Please eat it, please eat it. Really? Dude, what? On the frog? Oh my god, what the f Yo! Holy sh- Would you catch a wild frog? Bro, what? That's insane! Yo! Dude, you want me to weigh him? I have my thing right here if you want. Alright, yeah. What do you think? 1.8. Oh, you're close. Two, two pounder, two flat. Pounds. Dude, that doesn't even look like two pounds. That looks bigger than that. Yeah, Yo, that's a good fish. <laughs> on a frog. Early May, getting them on frogs, that's crazy. Dude. That's ridiculous. In this little pond, too. I just like the sound of it. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He slammed it. That's a big one, too. Let's see if he goes for it again. I missed the hook set. I'm stupid. Can't believe I missed that. Let's see if he goes for it again. He slammed it. Oh, big fish right here. Oh, please go for it. Please go for it. Right, right across him. He looked at it. Dude, these big fish don't want to eat. I don't think he is. You see it right here? Yeah, I see it. It's shaped exactly like a, a bass. Oh, no, it might be a carp. You're right. <laughs> Dude, I was going to say, that fish is huge. Oh, this is money. This is a money cast right here. I'm calling it. Oh, oh yeah, no, oh my God, what, what, I got smacked, I got freaking smacked, bro, <laughs> oh my God, that was a big fish, that was a big freaking fish, please go for it, please go for it again, put slack in my line, bro, oh my God, Big freaking fish. There's one. Got bit. Oh my God, tore the worm right off. Tore the tip right off. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, he broke me clean off. Oh, that was a monster too. Bro, what? All right, y'all, just a quick update. Been here for probably about half an hour to an hour. Got on one fish and got on, I think, two more bites. And my GoPro died, which is the only reason why I'm using this, but 
hopefully we can get on one more fish and close out this video. Holy crap. Guys, guys, it's just kind of smallmouth. <laughs> They have smallmouth in here, in this pond? Smallmouth live in here? How does he live in here? I thought they live in like clear rivers and crap. Guys, take a look at this smallmouth. Holy crap. It's a decent size, I'm gonna get a weight on him. It's probably about a pound, but still. I had no idea there were smallies in here. First smallie of the year, actually. Okay, too bad the GoPro died, but I was throwing a wacky rig, and uh, yeah, sure enough, picked it right up. It's about a one pounder, 1.25. Dude, what the heck, I'm like shocked that I just caught a smallmouth. It's a good looking freaking smallmouth. I'm gonna take a picture with it, of it. All right guys, I just caught a freaking smallmouth out of this pond, crazy stuff. I do not know how it got in here, but Looks like he's ready to go, so let's take a look at this thing. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Beautiful smallmouth. First of the year. Let's get one more look at it. Beautiful fish. I think it was like 1.25. Maybe a little bit off, maybe just about a pound, but still, beautiful fish. Alrighty guys, that is just about going to do it for the rest of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I feel like a broken record, but at this point, at the time I'm recording this outro, I've been out probably three different occasions trying to fish and I've caught pretty much next to nothing. Uh, what I can do is show you the catches that I have had so far, so. All right boys, got this boy on the jig with a Gary, Yamam Ma Ugh. Gary Yamamoto trailer. This is actually a 1.9, uh, what was it, four? 1.94 pounder. That's a good fish, it's probably a female. Alright, they do. Alright, let's get him back in the water. Been a good sport. Good fish out of this pond. Like, come on. A little tiny pond. Saw him come over, eat it. Doesn't get better than that. There he goes. There's that. Caught that large mouth. It was a pretty good one. Almost two pounds. And I also caught this like European chub. Alright, guys. First catch of the day. Look at this. I think this is a creek chub or a fall fish. I have no idea what the difference is, but freaking good fish. Should I weigh him? What do you what do you think? Should I weigh him? Yeah. All right, let me wait. All right, guys, let's take a look at the weight here. <laughs> 1.49 pounds. Look at this freaking chub. This is a big freaking chub. Holy crap. All right, let's get him back in the water. All right, let's take, give him a little release. Good fish. Not what we're after, but good fish anyways. Let's see when he's ready. All right. There he goes. That was definitely my PV because I never catch creek chub and the thing was like a pound and a half, almost as big as a largemouth and it fought crazy. So those were basically the catches I've gotten in the past week. Um, right now it is like May 16th or something. I don't really know the date, but it's mid-May. It's actually like 75 out right now. So it's crazy nice. The weather has finally taken a turn for the better. Hopefully the water is getting a lot warmer. Um, I just ordered a couple things for my kayak. So that should be good to go for next week. So stay tuned for those videos i should be going kayaking soon going after some small a's uh large mouth pike and yeah it should be really fun so stay tuned for that but once again i'm still struggling to get over this early spring hump but i think we're right at the peak of it and from now on we should be doing pretty good but one last thing i just had to get this off my mind so obviously watching these videos the last thing you want to hear about is coronavirus but um with this going on, I think it does have an impact on the fishing world. Obviously, like you can see with other fishing channels that are based in other states where they can literally can't even fish. And that just really just sucks because it's, it's a main outlet for a lot of people. And I'm fortunate enough for that not to happen here in New York. But um, what I do have to say is that with everyone all quarantined and stuck inside and have nothing to do, what I've seen is a lot of people have been going out to all my fishing spots, not my fishing spots, but the ones that I normally go to. Um, and basically everyone is like a fisher now and everyone's like super outdoorsy. Like my point is I'm not super against 
people be enjoying the outdoors and all of that and appreciating nature because that's what I've done my whole life. But when when I go, show up to a spot that I normally go to, when it goes from there normally being like maybe two cars the most to there being, let's say, 20 cars, 30 cars, and the entire spot is packed, it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just kind of annoying. Everyone is just kind of going out just to do it because they have nothing better to do. And if you are one of those people, like, I, I understand why you're doing this, but just try to have, try to show some courtesy to the people that have always been outside, that have always been fishing because, you know, it does get kind of annoying when you show up to your favorite spot and there's like 30 cars there and you have literally nowhere to go. Um, it is kind of a tough situation, so I understand that people have nothing else to do, but I don't know, I just wish that some people would go to like nearby parks or something or didn't like randomly pick up fishing because I don't know, it just seems that the water really can't take it. The pressure has greatly increased. I've never seen this many people fishing and I don't know, my main point is that it just makes for a lot tougher fishing. So whether whether that makes me selfish or not, it just seems like, I don't know, there should be different way around this. Um, hopefully people can find different hobbies and not all just focus on the spots that I go to and plenty of other fishermen have gone to for plenty of years. So that's my piece. Uh, that's all I really have to say, but I hope you guys are doing well in this trying time and hope you're finding your hobbies. And if you feel like fishing, obviously if you're watching this, you probably like fishing. So if you like fishing, I hope it's going well for you and um, I'll catch you in the next one. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, all that. Even if it's criticism, I'll take it kindly um, as long as you're like not like about it. So hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.